Hey, how's it going? Look what I've got. Um, got this today. Went to Burbank House of Hobbies, Burbank, California. My local hobby store. Props to them. They were just literally taking delivery of these. Delivery of these. So I snapped one up. They've got, I think they've got about six or seven there. So um, grab one before they all disappear. They're going to be like hot, hot cakes. Thought you might want to check it out. Unbox it with me. Let's dive in, take a look inside. I hope you're all doing, doing well. It's, uh, it's pretty cold here in, in uh, Southern California right now. We just had a cold, cold spell come through. Plenty of snow in the mountains, but here in Los Angeles, it's, uh, it's just chilly. So let's have a look inside. First of all, actually, first of all, let's take, take a look at this. I don't know if you're familiar with this. It's a brand new 148 scale Space 1999 Hawk. Um, those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook have already seen my Eagle. It was the 172nd Eagle that I built, which was really awesome. Absolutely amazing kit. Um, they do a 148th Eagle as well. Um, and this one has literally just come out. I've been waiting for it. It's 15 inches long. All new, uh, and it's, it's round two corporation. The kit number is uh, MPC nine four seven stroke one two. If you're interested, um, it's a big box, so bear with me. On the sides, I've got a few nice photographs from the TV show, reference photographs. Um, on this side, some pictures of the decals and. It doesn't have undercarriage, it's only flight mode, so bear that in mind. The Eagle kits have a choice of both. You get one of those nice stands with it though, which is pretty cool. And then nice picture there. And then when you take the lid off, let's spin it around. When you take the lid off, um, they actually have the decal cool on the inside of the box. And color call as well, or color guide. Um, doesn't really give you the colors to use. And that's on both sides. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard I'm holding it, so it doesn't all fall out right now. It's going to hold it up on its edge, but you can see that, right? Yeah. Okay. Before we go through this, I'm going to quickly show you this. Because, I don't know if you watched my previous video, um, about the Bandai armor plated truck. Well, I kind of built it. It's not completely done. I mean, I've got, I'm gonna spend some more time on it, but uh, this is where I kind of got to on it. Obviously it comes in two pieces. So you've got the cab there, which uh, is kind of cool. Mixed, um, mixture of paints. Did this um, digital camo. Um, which was the first time I've ever, I've actually really done digital camo. I think it turned out pretty well, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, wheels are turn. This little shield at the front here kind of slides up over the windshield. It's a little bit fiddly, but there you go, like that. And down again. And the nice thing about this is, you can drill out the lights and put LEDs in. Um, I did that and the roof actually just popped up in wonderful Bandai style so you can put your lighting wiring in there and battery. I've got a little three volt battery in there and a little button and you turn that on and they pop. And that, that uh, just clips back on like that and there you go. Really cool headlights. So this, if you buy another one, this this actually comes with another extension that comes out the trailer here, which you can clip into the trailer here. And so it means you can actually, if you have another two of these kits, you can do a train of two trailers, so on and so forth, if you want to do that, if you've got like an idea where you want to sort of fill them up with Gundams and whatnot. Um, 
The trailer itself is really cool. Nice bit of engineering. I don't know, Bando is just so good at this stuff. Really easy to put together. And the side doors basically just slide up and down like that. They have, they have two piece, a two piece uh, door. Both sides. Like that. Basically you just pop those off, bend those over. They pop either, they just pop out either in like this. And then they just slide down. It says, there you go. There. They just slide down, lock in the place like that, basically. Uh, both sides, very cool. Like that, and then they just fall back up again. And you can lock them in place. There's like little poppers on the inside. Like that. I added some custom decals. Because the kit itself doesn't really come with any decals. It literally has about four or five. They're like stickers for the headlights and backlights, these little tail lights and whatnot. But no real insignia. So I'm like, well, it's a bit of a what if anyway, based on the original um, truck from the from the show. So I went through my decal box and came up with some, a few sort of like the skull and crossbones there and those little stripes and on the back these little um, markings like, so they're like reflectors. They're lights down here, I've got to paint those in, I've got to do the top lights as well. But yeah, pretty effective, really easy like I said, super easy to put together. Um, you can do a lot with this if, you, if you're that way inclined. I kind of, to be honest with you, with these kind of things, I don't want to go crazy on them because I just think they look better sort of stylized like this because you get a kind of a, 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 high, a sort of slight realistic look but you know without trying too hard so it still lends itself back to the, the whole kind of TV, like almost cartoonish look if you like cross between the two I've got some cool decals there they're actually off a, um, a Cobra Helicopter kit, the academy one. It's kind of cool, like a skull, or guns, which I kind of like. Um, so yeah, there you go. Got a little light to see that before we go through the hawk, and that just slots in there like that. And of course, the wheels around, so you can, you can play with it a bit if you want, and you can throw your Gundam, your Gundam guns in the back, or you can sit your Gundam in it, or whatever you like. That's it. Let's pop that off actually. I'll do that. Like that. Yeah. Alright, so let's dive in to the hawk. Right, it's a, it's a big box. Big box. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to plonk it all out of the table to be honest. Because uh, there's. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this box. So I'm going to pop it all out like that. And go through it. Right. So before we go through it, we'll go through the decals. Now, this is my only criticism of, it, of round two with NPC kits. They're still... They've, you know, I think the boxes are nice, the box art's nice, the, you know, everything's kind of cool, but... Come on, come on guys. <laughs> Let's upgrade the uh, instructions. Cause these are the old school ones. And you know, yeah, I like them. I think they're, they're nice, they really are. They're just very clear, they're very simple, they're really easy to follow. They do work really nice. But I really wanna see a slight upgrade to these. I wanna see the color call. I wanna see some paint recommendations. I want to see decal calls, all in a nice, you know, maybe a three-color booklet, something like uh, like Ravel are doing at the moment with um, color guide sections. Just you know, generally take this and bring it into 2022 because the whole retro styling of it, you know, it looks a bit like it's been xeroxed, which is kind of what old instructions used to look like. Which I I don't know. I think it's kind of like. It was it was cute for for a minute, but 
I think they're ready now. They're making some really nice new kits. And uh, as they're making these new updated versions of the kits, I, I think they need to concentrate on, you know, the final touches, which I think is instructions. Instructions are always an afterthought with every model company, it seems, apart from one or two of them. One or two model companies have really put a lot into their instruction books, which is fantastic recently. You know, like the Wingnut Wings ones were fantastic. You know, Das Work are doing some really nice instruction books. And I think it's all part of the package. I think, you know, they have to put just as much effort into the instructions as they do the kit. So there's a rant, that's the rant over on that anyway. But, um, so, like I said, really simple. It's numbered in giant numbers so you can't really get lost and all the parts are very big and chunky um there's not a huge amount of parts you know very simple i think towards the back here it starts getting a little bit more complicated but you know it's, it's like it's really not hugely complicated at all um unfortunately you don't get a cockpit or any any cockpit with this which i'm surprised because this size kit i would have thought they'd have at least done a basic cockpit with it, with a couple of figures. I would definitely would have expected that. I mean, it's kept the price down. This kit's like 60 bucks. So for 60 bucks, I think it's a good deal for a kit, a kit this size and subject matter. But I still think they could have squeezed a little cockpit section, something simple like a bulkhead, a couple of seats, a couple of astronauts. That's all you really need, right? Um, So yeah, you just you're basically just running through. You've got the jets here. The, the, these are the side jets for the back. Then you've got obviously got the fuselage part. Then it goes back to the rear jet section, rear jet assembly, um, and then you know, some of the underside gubbins, the rocket pods, and so on and so forth. Some of the rigging there, back rigging that goes on with those rocket with the rocket booster pods on the side. And some of the underneath booster rockets here, which are kind of cool. Um, I've ordered a light lighting spec for this, so I've got some lights coming. I've, I'm going to do lighting in it, so it should be fun. Um, not a huge amount, just a little bit of subtle lighting in the cockpit, dark lighting. I'm going to I'm going to tint out the glass. So really, you know, you know, because when you look at the pictures, they've got kind of a dark glass in these anyway. So. I think just really just the mood light in the cockpit. So you're not going to see a lot in there anyway. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, flame effects for all the rockets. And obviously some flashes, some static lights, some landing lights, some navigation lights and so on and so forth. Um, so it should look pretty cool. So that's it. That's it on the instructions. Really isn't, there isn't much. Once you've done it, you whack it on the stand and away you go. Um, decals. Right, a lot of decals, right? A lot of decals. And what they give you is they give you decals for the windows and then basically all this stuff kind of dots around on the whole thing, like little tiny little markings and boxes and all kinds of stuff. So they're, they're not bad, they're pretty thick, pretty heavy. Um, I think they're just standard Chinese, made in China, printed in China decals. Today. It's nothing special, but they're all right. They'll do the job, you know. The ones on the uh, Eagle were actually pretty good. These are very much the same, so I, I expect they'll be fine. I know. I think if you go online, you might be able to find some some you know upgrade decals for these for this kit. I don't know. Possibly. I know that you can get them for the Eagle. So there's that. Right. Right, let's get into them. The, let's get into these bags. Where did I just put my knife down? There it is. Um, right, let's start with this one. Big, heavy bags. They're within all kind of. Right, so not many sprues. So we've got these here. You got to be careful when you pull them out. It's the only problem when they pack like three sprues in a bag like that because you've got these pieces here that can get broken and also obviously these are quite they're not super thin but they're certainly breakable so you've got to be very careful when you pull those out but nothing broken there and uh, looking at it I remember when I made the eagle there, there was very little flash which is really nice to see 
with um, kits like this. You know, because you kind of whenever I, whenever I, you get these kind of like, uh, um, I don't know, we call them a reissue, but they're kind of upgraded kits, old upgraded versions of old kits. I kind of start expecting to see flash, but I've got to be honest with you, they, they really have done a good job. There's, I can't see any flash at all, and uh, the injection plugs as well. Moulding plugs are really subtle. I don't know if you can even see those, but they're hardly noticeable at all. They're really shallow, so not really much to worry about there. Same with there. I mean, you could almost sand those down. A little bit of Mr. Surfacer in there and let it dry, and then just sand it. If you, if you, you know, if they wor worry you, they don't really bother me. You're not going to see them, you know. They're on the inside, right? So there's that. I'll pop that one in there. Um, looking at this, we've got more rigging, more rigging, <coughs> jet exhaust, nicely detailed. Got some nice, nice ribs on that. There you can see. That rib, the bigger size means of you know the details packed in a bit better. Um, <coughs> yep, not bad at all. Details pretty good on. So yeah, this looks like just part part of the back section here. Like this. And then we've got like the front, looks like the front wings here, or I don't know what you want to call those little tiny wings for the front. Uh, they look like they come in, yeah, two pieces like that. And to the front there. And then you got uh, something, I think it looks like, I think that's the, the, the back here where the engine is. Very nice actually, that's really nice that piece there. Nicely moulded. Good strong, thick, heavy plastic. The sprues. Um, funny thing is they've got a bit of flash on the sprue on the outsides, but that's that's about it. That's all there is, that's all I can see anyway. So that's that. And then this other bag here. Let's have a look in here. Let's see what we got here. Right. All right. So this side we got. Okay, so front front inside of the uh, of the uh, the very front tip piece, the cockpit, rear engines, the exhaust outlets, I think, or whatever they are. Jet, outlet, jet exhaust pipes, very nicely detailed. You can see those there. Very nice. Again, no flash. Maybe a tiny bit, but virtually nothing. I, I, I can't hardly see anything on these. Very nice. Some nice detail there. Those little small pieces there. Yeah, some nice details here. These are nice. Whatever they are. And then we've got here another piece that's very similar to the other piece. So I think that's just like a double that we were looking at earlier, because that's got another one of those there. So it's probably these. these it's probably the two sprues are the same, left and right, for the two rocket booster pods. All right. So let's get into the big bag. I'll put those down on the floor there. Isn't it? Um, see, not many parts really at all, parts down on this. Not really anything to get intimidated by, that's for sure. So you can have a lot of fun with it if you're not too, uh, if you're not really a, a, a super advanced model builder, you can still come up with something great, right? So this is nice, huge sprue. I mean, it's just ginormous. Doesn't even fit in my phone camera. Um, fantastic detail on the fuselage. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to hold that up there and take a look. In there. Very nice indeed. It's the nice thing about this size, these kind of kits. Um, you know, when you get up to the one, 148 size spaceships like this, they just, you know, you get these like huge, even the 135 kits, you know, the Moebius big kits are really nice. You know, they, there's, they can, they can get a lot of detail in, and this this is fantastic. I've got to say, 
nice crisp raised details some decent panel panel lines down here around there and overall you can see the size of it i mean it's a really nice size actually it's not too big and it ain't too small so i'm very happy with that um these are like the nacelles the rocket nacelles here and then you've got the bottom of the fuselage which again nice detail really nice raised detail nice detail um detail raised panels and at the back here this kind of like i don't know what you want to call it like fins detail that runs down the sides of these which is really really nice i mean it's all pretty awesome very impressive look i've looked at some reference pictures already and there's a hell of a lot of painting to do on this it's, it really isn't too basic it's the, the if you want to get it looking um like the tv show one and obviously looking fairly realistic then uh there's, there's actually quite a lot of detailed painting to do on it so just bear that in mind before you buy the kit and this this of course you just want to keep it simple you know which you can do that as well i'm sure it'll look just as good but uh, certainly for the advanced model builders this is going to be really fun uh, looking at this not really seeing flash there that's just part of the detail around the edges looking inside again the uh, the, the the mold plugs they're virtually non-existent you can i don't know if you can see them just about see them. Yeah. They're big, but they're really, really shallow. So you could you could fill those and sand them if you wanted to. But that's, that's I'm very impressed with that. Very, very impressed. I'm really excited about this. I've been waiting for this to come out. I love Space 1999. It was one of my favourite shows when I was a kid. So there you go. That's that. Oh, I nearly forgot the stand. Um, standard NPC stand. They're a bit like the Polar Light stands. The only difference being, I prefer the Polar Light stand because they give you a hollow, a hollow bar. So if you're doing lighting, you can run cables down through the through the uh, through the bar there, the tube. But uh, unfortunately, these are solid, so I'll be switching that out for a, a hollow one so that I can run cables down there and then I can put my uh, batteries in the base like this for the power. Going total 3 volt on this, 3 volt battery. I normally work in 9 volt, but I think with this, because there's not too many lights on it, I think I'm going to get away with doing 3 volt. I'm going to do two batteries so it sort of separates the power i'm going to run a battery to the to the rear all the rockets and uh and then i'm going to run a battery to the front that does everything else so, there you go that's that i'm not going to get that out right there you go i just thought i'd uh show you that very pretty exciting so watch uh go and subscribe to my instagram and my facebook um, I'm in, on, I use Instagram more than everything else, so subscribe to my Instagram if you haven't already. And uh, of course, hit the like button on this video and definitely hit that subscribe button on YouTube because uh, it really helps me a lot. I'm really trying to build this channel. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to be able to build it too quickly or, you know, sort of like take it somewhere unless I get more subscribers. So it's, it really helps me a lot if you hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of the week and stay safe. I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. So just stay safe, stay close to your friends and family and, uh, you know, just generally have a great week. Thanks.